Well, hello everyone. A big warm welcome. How are we all doing? We good? Yes. Good, good, good. We excited? Yes. Yeah, me too. It's, it's been a minute, hasn't it? All together, loving it. Lorna is in the building, as you've seen, which is just absolutely epic. And, you know, for me, I've been where you are. I've read all Lorna's books. I love them. They've helped me. You know, so I was much part of this and I'm so excited to be here because if I wasn't here, I would be there. But my name is Chris Meredith, I'm a spiritual broadcaster. I've got the Crystal Hut as well, I love crystals, but more importantly, I love angels. So Lorna has been part of my journey, she's been part of your journey. So you know, it's just important that we're all here together, loving it, and of course, with Lorna as well. So if you can please put your hands together, please welcome on stage. It is lovely Lorna Burns. How are we doing? Um, I'm nervous because this is my first event, you know, outside the country and yours. <laughs> Just so happy to to see you all. And when I came in early, just for a quick little visit, the stage, the stage here was full of angels. And now when I look down at all of you, I just, how would I say, say it, just this beautiful light that surrounds you, and that is the light of your guardian angel. Well, so beautiful. Thank you, Lorna. And, you know, for, for me, for you, for everybody, yeah. You know, it has been a minute since we're in a place like this, since we're with people, and it's such an honour to be here with you again, because I didn't know if I would be, you just don't know these things, do you? So, you know, like I said, it has been a minute, but how have you been? Because I know we all want to know. <laughs> how, how have I been? Um, it, it has been very strange, and just like it has been for everybody mm. in the world at the moment, and you know, having lockdown and all of that, you know, but I'm so excited to be able to talk more and to get out into the world and to help as many people as I possibly can and children, because to me that's very important. Mm -hmm. And of course I am, oh, what way do you say it? Um, Co-writing, is that right? Yeah. With a, a scientist at the moment and we hope to have that book. Now, they're all his theories on what he read in Angels in My Hair and Stairways to Heaven, what he suddenly recognised, and I always remember him telling my editor, Mark Booth, who was a writer as well, mm -hmm. um, and I, Mark just kind of said, how come I never saw that? <laughs> you know, um, so I, I think that will be a great surprise to people, but he mixes in the, his theories, but he mixes in um, his life's journey around the same time as, as mine, mm -hmm. in that in a way it's very interesting. Well, I have found it because the, well, it, will be interesting. The, <laughs> it has taken us, I think, nearly five years, so it's kind of him visiting me and I visiting himself and his wife. Um, and he, you know, talking about different things and, and you know, asking me about different things as such to do with science. And then on occasions, just Archangel Michael or one of the other angels would say, yes, you're getting there. <laughs> That's the most important thing, isn't it? It is, yeah. it is, of course it is. You know, well, we're here as well to celebrate 15 years of Angels in My Hair, you know, new publication. I mean, how does it feel just to say 15 years of Angels in My Hair? How does that feel for you? Um, for, for me, it's kind of was a shock, you know, <laughs> um, a huge shock when Random House got in touch with my daughter and said they were going to republish Angels in My Hair. Mm -hmm. And of course, then they asked for another chapter and that was even worse for me because I find it hard, and you might not think it, but I find it very, very emotional to reflect, mm -hmm. you know, on the last 15 years and to even in a sense, you know, um, 
I think I gave two stories and Archangel Michael helped me and what would you say, you know, give some teaching as well about growing spiritually and how important it is for all of us in the world and I think all of you can see that now because the world needs and everyone needs to be touched with a bit of love, a bit of compassion, a bit of hope. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's so important for us, for us all now. It really is. I mean, I think yeah. it's more important now more than ever. I mean, I don't know if many of you have gone out and got the new copy, but I ran out as quick as I could to get it, and I got it, and the first thing I did was read, you know, the new chapter, and 